Hey, so first off, I um, don't know if you can see it, but my exhaust is too close to my seat and it is melting it. So we've got to take that off and bend it some more down so it's going out the back and not melting my butt. And then my clutch is making some weird sounds and I think it's burning, so I've got to check that out and make sure it's not torn up. Uh, I think I might need to loosen my chain. Um, to do that, I'll just dremel this hole out some more. Um, and then, after that, hopefully I won't need to buy a new clutch. If I do, that sucks, but I'll do it, obviously. If I don't, that's awesome. So, I'll just get right into it and start taking this off. I'm just going to tell you like what all I did because I didn't get to get to record the clutch and chain part um, because I ran out of room and my phone died so um, here is what I've got so um, up here if you can see where there's like a hole it goes all the way to the foam in the seat like it goes almost like it goes right about there and uh, that's because the exhaust right here was up in there it was touching that so it was getting too hot well we bent it down some so now it's going down and then at the end here it was sticking out about to here and I cut it off and when I cut it off I cut it off at an angle I thought that looked cool so I went ahead and ground it down got it nice and good and then I tightened her back down and uh, haven't done anything with the intake yet I will be ordering those parts soon just uh, just letting you know. Um, and then with the chain stuff. So the clutch was making this really loud screeching sound, which I figured meant it was like burning up and it was broken. So I was like, dang, I have to get a new clutch. Well, turns out I didn't have to get a new clutch. Um, found out the chain was way too tight. Now it's a little bit loose, but hopefully that should be okay. Um, the chain was way too tight because my tensioner, the old tensioner from the bike before, uh, just did not fit it right. It was not the right way it only went to here well then i had extended it to about here apparently that still wasn't enough so i extended it over here and then went down that made it a lot better now it's looser and uh i also found about um my my dad told me about the stuff white lithium grease um heavy duty metal to metal lubricant and it's supposed to be long lasting and it says you can use it like on motorcycle parts and like uh uh, 
let me try and focus on that. Uh, for bearings, uh, machines, tools, equipment, um, steering parts, hinges, uh, mechanisms, gear shifts, stuff like that. Um, so, and I looked it up and it says you can use it on like clutches and chains for mini bikes. Um, and so I just tried it out and before I had to like push this thing really hard to roll it. Now it's like smooth. I can do it with one hand. It's smooth. So I'm going to do a test ride tomorrow. If it's not raining, I think it's supposed to rain, but, uh, it's just kind of an, oh, well, uh, can't do anything about it, but yeah. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to be ordering parts for the intake soon. Hopefully, I'm no guarantees yet, but hopefully, and I'll have to figure out the throttle situation once I do that. Um, yeah, so uh, there's a new exhaust. Eventually, I'm going to either buy a muffler for it or buy an actual exhaust tip from like O'Reilly's and uh, fabricate some sort of thing to put on there. But anyway, um, and then I'm going to get a lighter spring because it's really hard to turn this throttle. Like, it's Stiff. hard to turn because I have such a tight spring up in here it's so tight like it's just hard to turn like it's hard to pull sorry there's a pull handle there but there's the governor arm and i the way i bypass the governor is i just hook the throttle cable straight to that remove the whole govern like the throttle assembly and then i hook the spring to the governor that way when uh here let me put you down here and i'll pull on the throttle See, I'm not getting full throttle because it's just so hard to turn. It, like, it hurts to turn. So, that's why I keep getting blisters on my hands because it's so hard to turn. And it's getting to the point where when I pull on it, it's making the grip slip. It's, it's so hard to turn. So, I'm going to have to adjust that spring some and then go from there. But, yeah, like, that clutch is, like, super smooth now, so... I also lubed up the brakes some because they were grinding and they were stuck. So I managed to uh, lube it up some. But yeah, so that's what's up. That's what I've done so far. Um, I gotta go home. It's like, uh, what time is it? It's 11 at night and I'm at the shop. So I gotta go home and get some sleep. And then tomorrow I will be getting up getting some writing, recording, record me some writing, um, and then, uh, I guess, uh, I'll edit it tomorrow, and get her uploaded, uh, probably Thursday or Friday, I've been trying to, what schedule I'm trying to do is, I want to upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, that's why my intro only says Tuesdays, because every now and then I don't get a Thursday or I don't get a Friday. Like, last week I uploaded on Tuesday and Wednesday, which I usually try not to do. Um, if you can't see, there, that says 212, because this is a 212 CT engine. It's just I bought, like, mailbox numbers, so they're, they're really reflective. Um, anyway, and then there's that sticker that I lied about in the, in the part three, because uh, I said I was going to put it on a different project. I ended up putting it on there. And the one I said I was going to put on the seat is on the back of my phone right now. Um, here, I'll show you it. Um, yeah, that one. Sorry. Yeah. And then I've got the circle one, like I said, uh, right there. So I'm going to get a Cars and Camera sticker to go right there and a Redbeard's Garage sticker to go right here on the seat. I'm probably going to have it on the back because I don't sit on the back of the seat. I sit on the front. Otherwise, it pops wheelies. And I don't like wheelies. <laughs> I just started riding this thing. This is my first actual, like, two-wheel thing that actually goes fast because my, my other mini bike has a three-and-a-half horse motor on it. So, And then uh, after I get the intake stuff, I'm going to buy some different gears and play with gearing and try and get some uh, higher top speeds or... Uh, more torque, you know, just kind of play with wheelies, and I might, I want to build a wheelie bar for it, and uh, eventually put street tires on it, and take it out to the drag strip, that'd be fun, but before then, I gotta get some more power coming out of this thing, I'm gonna get a belt flywheel, 
eventually I'm going to get a cam, a rod, probably heavier valve springs, stuff like that. Just some performance stuff just to make her faster. She's already pretty fast. I think I made it to like 39 on my top speed run the other day. Sorry, I wasn't able to record that. My SD card is only like a gigabyte. I need to get a bigger one for my camera. Um, next time, rather than having it on my helmet, because it, it wants to fall off my helmet. I tried to record today and it fell off my helmet. Um, so next time I go riding, this is the mount. So you're going to be seeing like this. I might aim it down a little bit so you're seeing like the ground and the uh, fender. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so I gotta go. Um, next time you'll see me, I'll probably be getting this baby started up and riding a little bit. So, peace.